Hi, welcome to our combined PHHS and BMS concert. Um, we are so excited to be here for you and put on this show. We've had a really great rehearsal yesterday. We got to interact with each other and practice all of these songs and it was really fun and really informative. We hope that today we can also give you some information on the concert, qu the, the choir program, excuse me, at PHHS. Our eighth graders, as you can see, we have quite a few of them, and we're hoping that we'll get a lot of them to join choir here at the Hills. It's a really fun experience, some really great kids, a really great teacher, um, and we hope we can encourage you with some of the things you see tonight. I am Danielle Hazel. I am the Brooklawn uh, choir teacher. You've seen me before, probably, a lot, sorry. Um, and we're going to start for you. So this is just my eighth grade choir. And then you're going to hear from the, PHS, the PHHS choir, as well as um, some musical numbers, which will be really fun. Um, this is Miss Sarah Munson. She's the PHHS choir director. So you'll hear from her as well. But we're going to start. Oh. We're going to start with the BMS choir. And I'm going to have. Have you ever felt like you just don't fit somewhere? Well, our next song, Defying Gravity, is a perfect example of that. It is a musical piece from the Broadway show Wicked, written by Stephen Schwartz, and was originally sung by Adina Menzel and Kristen Chenoweth. It shows that you should not have to accept limits due to the preferences of others, and that being yourself is always the answer. Here is Defying Gravity, featuring soloist Molly Matone. Something has changed within me Something is not the same I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game Too late for second guessing Too late to go back to sleep It's time to trust my instincts Close my eyes and leave
again, that was Molly as our soloist, Molly Matone. Homeward Bound is a choral arrangement illustrating the relief of soldiers being released from World War I. With lyrics and music by Martin Kane, this version of the song was arranged by Jay Althaus. Homeward Bound was one of the most po popular and widely performed commentary choral pieces of all time, being performed throughout America and Asian countries. Please enjoy our last song featuring sol soloist Loralee Merzada and Advik Zed Gunkar. Homeward Bound. The summer ceased its gleaming when the corn is past its prime. And once again, that was Laura Lee and Advait on the solos. Excellent job. Thank you for the support, PHHS. We're going to get off the risers and let them have their moments, and then we'll be back at the end. Let's give it up for the eighth graders one more time.
All right, so the group that you uh, see forming behind me is our concert choir. So this is all students who have been in PHHS choirs for at least one year. Um, raise your hand if you are a sophomore. Woo! Raise your hand if you're a junior. Yes, raise your hand if you're a senior. Let's give it up for the seniors. do something a little different for this song. We are going to be singing an a cappella arrangement of a very uh, famous pop song called Shut Up and Dance With Me, which, fun fact, I actually saw before the single released at a Panic at the Disco concert. Um, so this song holds a very special place in my heart. Uh, we have some soloists who will be uh, a cappella-ing. So we have Sophia Dorlakis, <laughs> Sharanya Ja, yeah. and Kiri Fletcher. Don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, shut up and dance with me. This woman is my destiny. She said, ooh, ooh, ooh. shut up and dance with me. Don't 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 we were big dogs of the that chemical, physical, kryptonite Don't help us to the base and fading light Oh, we were bound to get together, bound to get together She took my arm, I don't know how it happened We took the floor and she said Oh, don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me I said you're holding back, she said shut up So there is actually a slight change in the program. Um, 
because, so originally the next song was only going to be sung by my concert choir, however, and I want everybody to give an uproarious applause for my choir class. They worked so hard to be able to learn the next song in our program. We're actually gonna wait until everybody in choir can sing that with us. So let's give it up for the kids in choir who really like, it's a really difficult song and I'll talk about it later. So, um, but first we're gonna take a brief intermission from the choirs and let's have some members of PHHS players sing some tunes from our musical. All right, yeah. All right, so our uh, first piece that we are going to be singing, I'll uh, let my two people talk about it. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hey. So the song that we'll be singing is BFF from our lovely little musical SpongeBob SquarePants, the musical. Yeah. Are you guys aware? Like, are you guys familiar with SpongeBob? Yeah. Somewhat. A little bit. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. See, that's the energy we need. Appreciate you, my guy. My name is Jalen. I am SpongeBob. And, and you are? Oh, I'm Patrick. I play, I'm Nikki. I play Patrick. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm sorry. Maybe you'd come on over here. We hope you enjoy. What's the name of the song? Oh. BFF. BFF. Oof. I got you and you got me I don't need my glasses on to see we're both pretty lucky stuck inside with no TV Still I'm stuck with you so I'm as happy as can be Let's have some fun together You're my best friend forever BFF that stands for us You don't get it, SpongeBob. There's nothing more fun than mindless entertainment. Maybe so, but all I know Is right here we've got all we need to make today Special. Let's explore, open every drawer. Hey, you found my long lost cheese. That's what friends are for. Let's have some fun together. You're my best friend forever. BFF, that stands for We're best friends, and this is the friend, it's we're best friends, and this is the friend, it's we're best friends, and this is the friend, it's we're best friends, and this is the friend, it's we're best friends. And every little thing that I could think of doing. Just sounds better doing it together. Every little thing that I can think of doing just sounds better doing it together, doing it with you. Floating high like a bubble in the sky, feeling just like I should and you're the reason why let's have some fun together you're my best friend forever BFF that stands for us this can't get any better you're my best friend Bob and Patrick. That stands for us. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and we're gonna do a quick uh, character change, and we're gonna bring up Miss uh, Brienne Gassimore. Who are you, and who do you play in the show? I play Sandy Cheeks. From I'm gonna be Texas. Texas, a Texas squirrel. I'm gonna be very honest. I'm a little nervous, so. <laughs> I'm never, never hold this. Before. You won't eat this up, don't you worry. <laughs> 
this is Chop to the Top. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Perfect. For context, SpongeBob is scared. So Sandy's going to be a little personal trainer, you know, positivity. Because you can chop to the top. There you go. There we go. Appreciate you, man. We're too heavy when we're holding on to all that stuff. Why load up on trouble when there's trouble enough? You gotta chop to the top that you aim for. Get some gumption and you won't turn tail. Just keep your eyes on the prize that you aim for. And use karate and you cannot fail. Chop! Come on and chop! Feels better when we're kicking that fear away. Sometimes we can make it happen, but that won't happen today. If you wait, it's too late. You're defeated. Put yourself just a little bit higher. and set it on fire and chop to the top chop to the top come on and keep it moving don't stop till you drop come on and chop come on and chop don't be afraid I'll be with you all the way Chop to the top, come on and chop to the top. Don't ever stop, come on and chop to the top. Chop to the top, come on and chop. Come on and chop to the top. Don't ever stop, come on and chop. Come on and chop. to see more chopping to the topping <laughs> we, our show is March 14th 15th and 16th March yes and it'll be at 7 p.m. in this auditorium tickets are ten dollars for adults and students that do not attend PHHS or seniors will pay five dollars but if you are a PTHSD student you get to go for free if you show your ID so I think it's a pretty fun uh, night out idea bring a friend from Brooklawn or maybe even Central Middle School, who knows? But now I would like to welcome up my choir class to sing some wonderful songs for you. So let's give it up for the PHHS Combined Choirs. So as they're walking up, this next piece is called Sure on the Shining Night. It is notoriously difficult because there are, I think about, how many parts are there? At least five, six parts sometimes. And as you can see, we are not a large ensemble. However, these students have worked their tails off and are ready to perform this song for you. So without further ado, Sure on the Shining Night.
for our final piece, we will be singing Cantar. For any of you Spanish speakers, Cantar means what class? Sing. Yeah, all right. Got my two wonderful soloists, Victor and Avantika. Come on, give them a hand. Yes, bow. Yes, wonderful. And again, they, they are only freshmen. Give them a hand again. Yes. All right. Now I would like to welcome the eighth graders back up for our grand finale. all of the wonderful um, singing from our eighth graders and high schoolers. I just want to take a couple of moments to talk about um, the importance of this program. I don't know about y'all, but when I sing or when I hear music, a smile automatically comes to my face. And thinking about all of the rigorous academic courses that these students take, it's nice for them to get, you know, a little break during the day. Um, how We barely ever look at our Chromebooks, yeah, in this class, so we get a nice break from the screens, and we also get to spread a little joy in the music that we sing. How many of my students who are in high school, who is in the STEM program right now? Raise your hand. 
So I have several students who are a part of the STEM program who are able to take choir as an elective. As a freshman, if you are in the STEM program, you must take one STEM elective and then you get a free elective. I highly recommend the free elective being choir because not only do you get a break from screen time, you get to share joy, you get to meet awesome upperclassmen. How many of my uh, freshmen have met someone new because of choir? Literally all of them. So um, it's a wonderful opportunity for not only extracurricular choir and musical opportunities, but social opportunities as well. Speaking of which, next year will be our Disney trip. So I will be taking all, I know, so all of my um, choir students, which may include some of the eighth graders standing behind me, we will be going to Walt Disney World in, World in Florida and we will sing a couple tunes, maybe get adjudicated, who knows? But it will be a great experience for the students to sing outside of the Morris County area. Um, if you have any questions about scheduling or how choir can fit in your schedule, you can email me. My email is just sm and then my last name at pthsd.net. Um, I am more than open to answer any questions you have about our program, what courses need to be um, completed in order to join our concert choir, any questions you have. I am pretty much an open book and I would love to see some of the eighth graders behind me join us in a choir and maybe Disney next year. Um, last final uh, shout out, I, I don't know if she's still here, but I would like to give a hand to our wonderful administrator, um, my supervisor, as well as Miss Hazel's supervisor, Miss um, Allison Caravano, let's give it up. Yes. <laughs> Without her support, events like this couldn't happen. I have taught at two districts before this and getting an event like this together is no joke. So I feel so blessed to be in a community where we are able to sing with the eighth graders like this and share the joy of music with our community. Um, and then one final thank you. We, for this last song, it's called Let Everything That Hath Breath. It is a one of my favorite spirituals. We had a gospel expert um, workshop this piece with us. I don't know if she's here tonight, but I would love to give a hand to uh, Mrs. Royal, who helped us. Yes, who helped us with the song. So. And we hope we do it justice. So without further ado, let everything that hath breath.
praise Him. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Yeah. Come on and praise the Lord. Started you on your way. Yeah, yeah. He woke you up this morning. He gave you air to breathe. Yeah, yeah. He gave you food to eat. You're providing your redeemer. Soloist Jalen and Lily. Woo! All right. So um, here's here's how dismissal will work. Eighth graders, you are going to calmly go back the way. Do you remember the way back into the choir room? Yeah. You are calmly going to grab your things and exit through the choir room and meet your. Oh. Oh, sorry. I'm so used to just rushing into logistics. I'm so sorry. But but you get that, right? Oh. We just want to thank Ms. Munson and Persephone Hills for hosting us and for um, giving us a really great experience. Can we say thank you to Ms. Munson and the rest of our Hills singers? No te preocupes. All right. Um, now we can do logistics. Okay. So, again, let's start. We'll start with the altos going out first. They'll get their stuff through the choir room, and then the students will actually come through the back door. So just hang tight. Okay? And they will, be, uh, they will find you in here. Okay? I mean... Yeah, if he has nothing, he can just step down. But all right, altos first. Bye, altos. I hope you remember where you're going. I know. All right, let's have the baritones follow the altos. Yeah, uh, bar baritones, y'all can go. Yeah. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay. Sopranos, calmly. Sopranos. Oh, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving next, so. We're going to leave next. See you next year. All right, altos, follow them. 